Hello. Back in the olden days, the idea of letting a stranger nose around your home would have been completely unthinkable. But these days, in the digital age, companies like Airbnb.com making thousands of pounds or dollars or any world currency from allowing you to do just that. What does it feel like of a stranger nosing around your home, judging your decor and sniffing your socks? Well, in this episode of The Eccentrics, I'm going to meet Kim. Well, come in! I love that because it's a mixture of welcome and come in. Renting out her flat to a different Airbnb user every night for the last 16 months, Kim's managed to acquire the highest star rating of anyone on the website. What's her secret? And will she tell me? What's the optimum number of spices to have on show, do you think? Uh, yeah, four. four, I agree, yeah. yeah. I need to upload new photos of the flat because I want my guests to know how nice it is. How homely it is. What is your overall star rating at the moment? 4.82. It's not perfect, but we're getting there. Have you heard of Airbnb Superhosts? Um, yes, obviously. So what's this then? This is Kim's house bible. Every one of my guests gets a copy with also a signed photograph of myself. Now this is a map of all the light switches in the flat with a photo of every switch to ease your stay. I don't want any of my guests feeling like they're in the dark. When I booked, she said I'd have the place to myself. But uh, she's been here every single day. Cup of tea, Joshua? No, thanks. Lots of fur tea she's offered me this morning. I've already promised to give her five stars. I don't know what she wants. It's, it's too much. Well, couldn't you just go out for the day? I'd feel guilty leaving here. Maybe just have a tea? I, I don't really drink tea. I've never even tried it, you know? Or had a cigarette, despite, you know, friends telling me to. And my uncle, he was big into crack, you know, when it was big. Well, a lot of things for your guests. Oh, yeah. Soap, shoes, um, rice, sometimes tweezers, iPads, toothbrushes. I brush my teeth, Ivo, every day. Do you find you're spending a lot of the money that you get from the rent on these things? Well, that's what you get with Kim's five-star service. You get the best fruit bowl in N16, a superb collection of Peter Kay's live work, and a mattress that will absorb absolutely everything. Right. It's just... Don't most people who rent out their rooms do it because they're going away themselves, like on holiday or, or whatever? Are they Airbnb super hosts? Nope. Well, it is a nice flat. Mmm! Where do you sleep, though? Well, in here. Lucky girl! Why, go for a lovely long walk. Hello, Mr. Josh. How are you, sir? Lovely spray. Mint for the mouth. How was the toilet? You don't just get a uh, badge on your profile, Ivo. Uh, you get extra support when you call Airbnb and you get invited to lovely company events. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Does sound pretty super, I guess. Have you enjoyed your stay here, Joshua? Yes, yes. Five stars. No! The thing is, um, just please be aware that um, giving a four is almost as bad as giving a one or a two for us. Um, we're, we're really looking for um, fives because uh, four's almost worse. Uh, thank you for everything, Kim, but I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. I need to go to bed. Oh. Yeah, I think we'd better be going. No, well. I thought you were staying. Well, where? I can't miss Joshua's goodbye breakfast. For journalistic reasons, I decided that I would stay the night after all. I mean, Kim certainly does love hosting. And in many ways, being her guest has been the perfect eccentric experience. I'm no psychologist, uh, but my theory, the reckless spending, the desperation to please, the obsession with ratings, is that she is a woman with a deep-rooted problem. Everything all right in there? Uh, y yes, all fine, thanks, Kim. Just tucking down now. Good night. Joshua. Good night. <laughs>